Hello, so, in this video we will discuss about DNS enumeration. DNS stands for domain name system. You probably had done this in your information gathering module and not seen, please refer to that video as well, where we had seen a DNS lookup, right? Where you also had seen what and how information is stored in DNS and how we can, how we can gather information from that. Well, in this module, we will further poke your DNS servers to fetch some juicy information. In information gathering module, we have used NS lookup tool, uh, which is a system tool by the way. However, we will use some more tools in this enumeration phase uh, in a more secure way. Tools such as host, dig, uh, DNS enum, DNS recon, such type of tools we are going to use in this enumeration phase of DNS. So let's get started. So the first command or the first tool that we're going to see is a host command. So you just need to type host and then you need to provide your domain name to which you are enumerating. I strictly recommend that you do not take any domain uh, like google.com, facebook.com. You cannot do that. You need to take permission from those domain and then you can test it. Otherwise, you can uh, go and surf your internet to have uh, a kind of testing website where you can test this enumeration phase. Otherwise, you need to take permission. So, I strictly recommend to take permission from the domain. Otherwise, uh, use your own testing website. So, I have one of uh, one of a testing website such as itsecgames.com. You can easily find it from the internet. So I have host itsecgames.com, which is my domain name. When I'm going to hit enter, it will provide me the information about the IP addresses of the domain. So you can see here that the IP address of itsecgames.com is 184.168.131.241. Uh, apart from that, you can use a specific record type of DNS. If you do not know record type, please refer this a website to uh, see what kind of uh, record types DNS having. Uh, otherwise, you can go back to the information gathering module where we had seen DNS. There also I had explained you what is DNS record type. Otherwise, just uh, go for the forums and you will get an answer, very precise answer for the record type. Okay, all right. So let's get back to the uh, command prompt. So if you are poking a specific record type uh, for DNS, what you can do, you can use dash t, so host dash t and provide any record type. So suppose I am interested in name servers of DNS of this specific domain, I am going to provide an s and then the domain name itsecgames.com. So it will tell me that there are two name servers for the itsecgames.com which is ns53 and ns54. So these are the name ser servers, all right. Uh, Apart from that, you can also fetch mail servers. So the same command, you just need to change your record type. You can provide MX and you will see that these are the two mail servers for the itsecgames.com. Okay, so you can use, uh, you know, record types according to your query. Now, second thing is you can also check uh, zone transfers. Now, zone transfers are very, uh, you know, kind of healthy information you can grab from that. So what is zone transfer? The zone transfer is something like where your primary, that means this server, the primary server, DNS server, contact to a secondary DNS server, that means this one, okay. So when this uh, connection or with, with, with this, uh, we can use something called as DNS zone, uh, sorry, zone transfer. So when your primary server is communicating with a secondary server, sometimes uh, the information they're going to share with each other uh, for the purpose of load balancing or something like that. So they transfer some information and if a third party is here like an attacker, they can grab this information which is flowing from a primary server to the secondary server. This is known as zone transfer. Sometimes secondary uh, DNS wants some information from the primary DNS server or sometimes primary DNS server needs information from the secondary DNS server and that's why they need to transfer some information from uh, one to one to one and there we come as a zone transfer. So we need to check that itsecgames.com had enabled zone transfer or not. So how we can do that? So although it is not good to query any domain for uh, zone transfer without permission. So you cannot check like uh, let me check zone transfer for google.com. This is not possible. 
Hence, for this video, we will use a testing domain uh, specifically for zone transfer. So, we have a domain known as zone uh, transfer dot me. It is specifically meant for you know test the zone transfer that how zone transfer works. So, you can do that with the help of host command dash t and then you see that there are two name servers. So, we are going to use one of it. So, for the zone transfer, you can write AXFR, which is specifically meant for a zone transfer. And then you will write the primary uh, DNS server, or the domain name. And then you will write the uh, secondary DNS server, which is the name server, ns53.domain.control.com. Uh, Let's see that it had enabled uh, zone transfer or not. Let me see this. Uh, for, for, for this domain, okay, let me see this. So, when I do that, you will see that it will say that there is no uh, zone transfer available for itsecgame.com. It is trying, but uh, so network is unreachable. Uh, I think there is some mistake that I did. Um, the domain control.com. Okay, so I think it is not uh, uh, working. So, uh, let me try another, I mean, this zone transfer dot me. Let me try that. Host dash t and uh, zone transfer dot me. And uh, so I do not know the uh, name servers for zone transfer dot me. So let me check what name servers they have. So dash ns zone transfer dot me. And let's see. So there are two name servers for this domain. Let me see that there, there is a enabled zone transfer or not. Let's see this. So I'm going to provide instead of ns, we will say axfr. And then let's see, I'm just going to copy this. Let me see. So if it is enabled, they're going to uh, tell you that there is a zone transfer from this to this. So it is trying and you can see that uh, it is a zone transfer is enabled on zone transfer dot me and it uh, inquires and get you a lot of information about uh, zone transfer dot me. You can see there are SOA information, there are text information, there are mail servers, there are name servers, uh, there are different, uh, uh, there are LOCs, there are, there are canonical name as well maybe, yeah this one. You can go for this website to see there is any vulnerability available or not. There are so many text so there is uh, there is a there is a sql uh, injection as well there is a text file for this you can see sqli zone transfer dot me so you can you can check all these information here so if a website if a domain had enabled zone transfer this if you, and if you can fetch that zone transfer it will be a whole lot of information you can get from that okay so this is uh, the first command let me go for the second tool which is dig it's a dig command uh, by which you can also gather information for DNS. Uh, you can enumerate it. So, uh, the simple way to use dig is just provide the dig and then the d domain name itsecgames.com and it will provide you the, in uh, I mean, the information whatsoever query you have fired. So, a question has been asked to which an answer comes up. You can see there is a, there is a question, there is a question section which has been asked and the relevant answer section has been provided from the server. So, there, there is itsecgames.com. Then this 5 is basically time to live, okay, to which this uh, whole information resides for uh, to which time. So, there is time to live, TTL. Then uh, there is a class of query, which is IN stands for internet. This is a class of query. The, the type of query. So, there is A. A stands for address. So, this is the address, the IP address of itsecgames.com. So, there might be a different uh, record type come over here, maybe AAAA which is IPv6, maybe NS for name server, maybe MX for mail servers likewise. So, this is a domain name, time to live, this is class of query, this is type of query and then the IP address of that relevant answer, right. Uh, what other thing we have in dig, we have a header section and header basically inform, it, it gets from the server. So, this header, this header information this information is coming from the server okay so so it has uh, um, it has opt there is some 
opt pseudo section there is opt pseudo section is basically an advanced data here we have edns ED, there is no edns right now currently available as you can see edns stands for extension system for dns and you can see that is it is not used and that's why it is null or zero you can say flag is also not there so flag is not used we have udp as you can as you know that dns works both in udp as well as in tcp so it's a pack, packet size of udp 1280 so this is uh, advanced data uh, from uh, from the server comes up so this is uh, one of the way you can there is a query there is a, another section here you can see the query time the server address uh, when it is being used and the message uh, size so this is also a very good uh, you know a good tool to enumerate the dns um, another thing you can do is dig itsecgames.com and provide the any well any returns you all the result for this domain itsecgames.com so when you hit enter you will see that uh, it will not only fetch a record time that means the type of query it will fetch all the type of query that this domain possesses all right so it has ns soa mx txt file and this is a very good thing i mean there are two name servers which we already know there is soa uh, service of authority uh, then we have mail server there is a text file available and uh, well I, pre I precisely do not know what this test text file doing here but uh, this is outlook.com or maybe this is some mail thing do not worry but uh, the, so this information you can fetch well another thing you can do is uh, you can also do something like uh, so right now if i if i use this itsecgames.com it is using some domain uh, server okay it is using some dns server to fetch that information you can change that dns server if you are not getting anything okay if you are not getting a result back you can change the dns servers here so how you can do that is basically you can type dig at the rate maybe i can use google uh you know uh, the uh, dns server like this this is and then i can use itsecgames.com i can do that same query you're you're getting but uh, with a di different server you can see earlier it was it was my server if you type like this i'll i'll, I'll give you the comparison here games.com when you see that there is this this is my dns server but i specifically had changed it to 8888 which is google dns server okay so you can change the dns server if you are not getting any answer from the command uh, there is one more uh, thing which is known as trace well trace command will list all the servers the query is passing to reach to the final destination so it will give you all server from the source to the destination through which the, your your request is passing on okay see all server ip address you will get which is good i'm very much interested in it so how can you do that is dig itsecgames.com uh, but before that let me change the server so that i can get some good information and then provide plus trace maybe you will not get anything for this domain because uh, i know that this will not work so let me try google.com which is maybe so you can see that these are the root servers you will get from uh, the source to the destination so these are all servers okay and still it is uh, it is running uh, maybe it will give you all other servers which is there in between me and the uh, google.com all right so this is one of the thing so i'm gonna stop it another command is dns enum to enumerate dns so you can use dns enum and then you just need to write idsec games.com you will get definitely the same result but uh, it's in a very um, structured way you will get so see the first thing uh, they had uh, there is a host address which is nothing but the ip address they will provide you the name servers in a structured way there there is time to live uh, so there are these are the name servers so a is a type of query you can see that a gives me only ip addresses that means uh, ns53.domaincontrol.com uh, lives in this ip address then we have mail servers you already know and it tried for zone transfer but you can see that uh, uh, it is just trying and it is it is not successfully uh, doing it because zone transfer is not available for itsecgames.com however it is available for zone transfer.me you can check that out 
um, another thing you can do is uh, you can uh, uh, you can find much more information with the help of enum command uh, e dns enum dash dash enum although you can use help command to get more options uh, but let's see what this enums gives me let's see oh, it's the same result so okay so yeah enum will you know much it will it, it actually it will give you more information because it it, it is trying to get uh, from wui's command so it is try to find the subdomains as well from the wui's command wui's uh, database so this will actually there are no subdomains but uh, if you go for another domain you will definitely get some subdomains uh, which is good uh, although you can use a custom file for subdomains you can create a subdomain.txt where uh, you know you have that file so you can create a custom file there and you can enumerate uh, much more subdomains uh, there is another uh, command which is dns recon uh, dash d i t sec games dot com uh, this is dns recon and it will perform a whole lot, whole lot of information for idsecgames.com it will give you a lot many information right now it is not working because there is a lifetime option which i have not enabled although it will take a lot of time to enumerate so i'm not gonna go for it but the command is something like this lifetime uh, 30 so if you provide some lifetime it will fetch information for you from the servers so right currently i had just uh, uh, stopped it but you can use dns recon for the uh, for the more uh, enumeration another thing you can do is fears fears is also very good fears uh, dash dns itsecgames.com if you do that it will uh, go and uh, get you the information from the dns server so you can use dash dns let's see so fears dash dns itsecgames.com let's see Okay, so I had done okay so you see that it just uh, provide me the same information uh, the name service then it is it try for the zone transfer but it doesn't that doesn't uh, working because uh, it is not enabled as I told you unsuccessful in zone transfer as you can see checking for wildcard DNS uh, it is it is trying DNS tra uh, zone transfer but you see that it will not work because it is not enabled so you can also use fears so these are some of the tools that is very helpful in the enumeration phase uh, for the dns i hope you like it and i'll see you in the complete next section for the exploitation uh, this will end your enumeration uh, i hope you like it thank you so much